All right, so this one here is something we should have done a long time ago. Uh, most of you should be familiar with uh, with using Unity standard precompiler defines, like if you have code that's platform specific. Uh, and uh, in our previous videos, we went over how you can use those and uh, have conditional methods. Uh, so uh, there's also something that, that a lot of people don't know about in Unity, and that's that you can actually set up uh, a list of global uh, precompiler defines that uh, that will work for your entire app. So we're gonna we actually just we've been using these for for uh, ages now, but uh, for some reason we never actually made an easy way to use them. So uh, we're gonna release a little script, uh, just a simple editor script that will uh, actually allow you to modify these uh, much quicker and easier. So uh, looking at the code, uh, you can see what we have here is just uh, one simple method, and we have uh, a debug log dropped in uh, a define of warm and another one in log. So when we go back into the app and we push play, of course we're only going to expect to see the first one. And that's because these are wrapped in warn and log. So um, we made this little editor script and it's, uh, you know, it's pretty ugly but it gets the job done. And uh, it lets you just pop in here and you can add and remove any defines you want and you can enable and disable them. So uh, let's just jump in here and enable, uh, let's enable all of these. And we'll enable those three. Okay, so we save this and you'll notice two files appear in here and you could ignore them. Those are just the, the files that the mono compiler will use. Now, one thing you notice is when we push play, it's still gonna be the same result. And that's because uh, Unity hasn't recompiled anything. So we're just gonna force a re-import of just any script, it doesn't matter which one. And when we go ahead and push play now, you'll see, okay, great, now all the rest of the stuff is appearing in there. So, uh, you know, that's that's a good start, but let's, uh, let's just add a little bit more in here so we can see uh, how powerful this can actually end up being for you. So, um, added a conditional method call, and let's go ahead and add another one here. Okay, so what we're doing here is uh, we're, we're just gonna call these two methods. And uh, we're calling these, notice this is outside of any of, of these uh, if statements. So these are just normal method calls. And uh, this is a, a similar strategy to our, uh, our our previous tutorial on debugging where we uh, we gave the, the D class, which uh, uses conditional uh, conditionals here. But uh, this in conjunction with actually the global uh, defines here, it opens up a whole new world here for, for ease of use. So again, if we drop this down to uh, nothing in here, we're just going to do a re-import. So when we go to push play, we'll get weeks back just one. So we hop back in our global defines and let's go ahead and enable all of these. We save it. And of course we have to do the annoying re-import. And now when we push play, look what we get. So we have the normal one that's always logged. This one's in warn. This one's in log. Then we have our new two conditionals. And you know this this little script here just uh, it makes it nice and quick and easy to turn these on and off for an entire project. It lets you leave your logging code in. So now you can write a whole bunch of logging code and you just leave it in there. And uh, as long as you have a, a conditional or on top of the method calls you're making or you know, you, you have these set up in, in uh, pound defines here, then you can have your logging never removed and you can just turn it on and off at will. And uh, this ends up making debugging a, a heck of a lot easier because down the road you may want to give a look at, uh, at some of that log code you wrote before. Now you can do it. All right, so we're going to put this up on our GitHub repo. It'll, uh, it'll be up there within the next couple minutes. So uh, by the time you see this video, it'll be ready for you. Thanks for watching.